This is going to be a very random tangent for this channel. It's normally my brother Ralphie that does the whiskey videos, but um, this time I'm going to be doing a whiskey video, and it's an odd one because uh, I'm going to take this bottle of Joy Dunlop Foundation whiskey, which is a limited limited edition to commemorate the, the uh, uh, a rider called Joy Dunlop uh, in the TT races. And the TT races are just kicking off at the moment in Isle of Man, so it seems appropriate. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be turning it from an ordinary whisky into a gold leaf whisky. And you've probably seen the bottles of gold leaf liqueur uh, on or gold leaf spirit on shelves. I think Smirnoff did a, a gold leaf version. And it's basically the, the bottle of the liqueur or the spirit has little par particles of gold, real gold, floating in it. And you think gold's quite heavy, so it would sink, but uh, if you get gold leaf that comes in these tiny little packages and it's super delicate. This is the stuff that's usually used for um, gilding and embossing. And it's basically, it starts off, gold leaf starts off as a, as a physical bar of gold that's rolled. Uh, this is molecular thick, it's super fine, it just, the air it just floats in the air. You have to be very careful or it does quite literally float away. But uh, when they make it, they get uh, a block of gold. It's not 100% pure gold. It's 99% gold with other metals added to make it an alloy. But this stuff is still fully edible, which is the main thing. It's You get other versions that the gold is put onto another base metal, but uh, you want the edible version, which you can get off eBay. Of course, you can get everything off eBay. I don't know if you can get this off eBay, this whiskey. It is a uh, very hard to get whiskey. It's, there is still some available, but I'm not sure where you'd even get it these days. I suppose an online search might find it. Uh, it's not a super expensive whiskey, uh, but it's a, a very good whiskey. Apparently, according to my brother, he, he's enthuses about it. So the gold, the gold starts off as a bar and then it gets put through rolling mills and uh, it gets reduced into a gold strip. And then the gold strip is uh, basically put between two layers of material and then pounded flat. And then that then gets divided up, put between more layers of material and pounded flat. And it just goes through all these processes of pounding it into, you know, this wafer thin sort of floaty uh, layer of gold. It really is like... You know, I couldn't even tell you what weight this is. It's virtually nothing. And that's what gives it the ability for the flakes to actually float. Now, the first time I tried this, I tried it with just a generic cheap vodka because I wasn't going to tarnish a nice whiskey um, with experiments. And I did it with the silver version because uh, you, you can get silver leaf as well. And uh, I initially thought I could just get this and sort of cut it up and drop it in. No, that doesn't happen. This is so delicate that, you know, as soon as you touch it with a blade or anything, it just sort of, it, it kind of like all clumps together. And it's, it's very, you know, it's very hard. If you try dragging a blade across that, the whole thing would just crumple into a sort of mess. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try and just gently, yeah, see, see what I mean? Yeah, this is already going so wrong. Ah, uh, anyway, <laughs> it is so light. Uh, that, that, I was just trying, that's the first time I've tried it that way. That was a terrible way to do it. It's now, I've made a mess, but that's okay. It's not new. Ah, uh, yeah. Right, let's try again, shall we? So uh, I'll just uh, ruin that bit of gold then. Oh, it's all over the fingers now, and we'll try again. But what I'm going to actually do, I found the best way to do this, was actually to try and slide the gold leaf off just directly into the bottle as a solid piece. So let's uh, start by pouring half the whiskey out of the bottle because the bottle has to have loads of room in it for this. So I'm going to pour approximately half of the golden nectar out of the bottle. And then with the resultant space, I'm going to get another piece of this gold leaf and try not to completely destroy it this time. I think I almost am. And I'm going to try and just funnel it in. I'm not even sure how well this is going to work. Is it going to go in like that? So... It doesn't have to be intact when it goes in. The main thing is that all the gold goes into the bottle and it doesn't even have to go down to the base of the bottle. I'm just going to poke this in with a screwdriver because that seems like a logical thing to do when you've got screwdrivers in the vicinity. 
Yeah, this is it's tricky. The hardest bit is getting the gold into the bottle. And I say it, it doesn't have to go right down into it, as long as it's in beyond where the cap is. That looks pretty good. So now I've got this gold leaf just coating the top here. I'm going to put the lid back on over that gold leaf. And this is where the easiest way to shred it was simply to shake the bottle. So the gold leaf's in the top now and I'm just going to shake it. And that shatters the gold leaf into little bits and it seems to self-regulate to a degree. The, the more, it starts off with quite big bits and then the more you shake it, the less energy is impacted in the smaller flakes so they don't break down so much. The bigger ones are more likely to be broken down. So now they're sort of a modestly small size. Um, I'm going to give it another shake just to make sure it's all really broken up. Okay, now I'm going to pour the whiskey that I poured out back in. Now, I've seen the, uh, like Smirnoff did that sort of gold whiskey, I think. And it always seemed to be gold whiskey, gold vodka, should I say. It always seemed that the ones in the shelves that seemed to have a modestly good distribution of the gold in the liquid. And if you actually just add it to a straight spirit-like vodka... It um, doesn't work quite work like that. It, um, it gradually sinks over a period of time and you have to shake it every so often. And I wonder if the staff in the shop were told to actually shake the bottles every so often or people were just picking it up and going, oh, look, there's the gold vodka or whatever and shaking it. But um, that's the only bit. I, I don't know if they added anything. If, if you try drinking it, the... Did you notice any difference in the texture? Was it thicker in some way? Did, had they added something? So now uh, I've done this, you can see the gold flakes floating around in the liquid there. And it actually looks quite nice. The gold really complements the whiskey colour. Um, so I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to drink some of this now with the gold in it because it is drinkable. So one moment, please. It seems fitting I should use one of my brother's Ralphie, ralphie.com glasses for this, since it is a proper whiskey glass. So the idea is that if you had it sitting on a shelf and the gold had settled, you'd simply shake it uh, to get the gold spread out. So I'm just going to pour this in. Pour a small whiskey. And you can see the gold floating in the glass there. And I'm going to drink it and see what it's like. Oh, that's nice. That's a very dark, peaty whiskey. That's a really nice whiskey. I'm not tasting the gold leaf at all. I'm not even feeling it in my mouth because the flakes of it are so molecularly thin. Oh, that's quite a strong whiskey as well. Um, initially, when you've added it, you'll notice that it tends to float to the top of the bottle. And that's okay because it's just because there are tiny little bubbles of air trapped in it because you've just bl obliterated it by shaking it. And after a time it will be go the opposite. It will stay dispersed and then it will settle to the bottom. But then as soon as you see the slightest movement, it just clouds up into the into the bottle. But um, yeah, so how to convert uh, a typical whiskey to a gold whiskey or a vodka into a gold vodka using gold leaf from eBay. Um, I'm going to provide a link to the Joey Dunlop Foundation as well because it seems appropriate since I'm doing a video uh, incorporating their whiskey. Um, yes, uh, so gold whiskey.